So in this exercise, we will show the very efficient way to make the revolt parts. And again, the strategy that we will be using is to keep the minimum information constrained inside the sketch and to keep the maximum information in a feature content. So I'm first going to make some horizontal center line for the part on the board. And I'm going to dimension the length of my horizontal center line to be 2.13 inches, 2.125 probably. Because 13 is not the standard fraction. So this is 2 and 1 eighth. The next thing that we will do, we are going to make this 0.74 and 0.88 rectangle. 0.74 and 0 0.88. 0 0.74 in a diameter. How I specify diameter, guys, very important. I will click on a dimension. I will click on the outside line. And then I will click on a center line, which just I, I which I have just created, and I will pull the cursor on the others of the mouse on the other side of the center line. And look what it shows me now. It shows me the diameter, and it is D. So, and what is the diameter there? Point. Seven four. Point seventy four. Okay. And that's the diameter of point seventy four, and the distance of this. First piece is what, 0.55 or what's there? 0.88. Okay, so 0.88. Now, I'm going to make another rectangle from the other end. With the other end coincidental with my line. And I'm going to specify the dimension of this rectangle to be again and I will need to extend my center line because I need to pick the center line so and if I do the smart dimension what is the diameter at the end 0.5 and I can make a one line to demonstrate you both methods from this edge here to the 0.5 and I'm going to dimension the angle between the two of how many? 15 degrees. 40 for the first one, okay? That's correct. And so let me see. It's 40 degree, and the next one is 50. OK, and this is my sketch. I will close the sketch. And I'm going to now make it to revolve features. Revolve boss base. Select contour. Axis of revolution is my axis. And as I choose the contours, so I built the first chamfer by drafting. Now, the second chamfer I intentionally did not want to draft, so to show you how easy it is to build it in a features mode. So in a features mode, under fillet, I will click on a chamfer. How the chamfer can be specified is as an angle distance and distance distance. I will specify it as an angle distance. The distance is going to be what? 0.5. And the angle is 15 degree. And I'm going to choose as a chamfer edge the cylindrical edge here. And we can flip directions. If we click on the flip direction, look what will happen. We have a distance of 0.5 because this arrow will indicate you direction of chamfer and 15 degree of the edge that is being cut, that is being chamfered. Then click OK. And voila, here is my complete piece. So it took us four minutes to demonstrate it in a bot method. So which method you use depends on how it is dimensioned. Personally, 
I prefer to have a chamfer not in a sketch that they are separate entities. Why? Because let's say that you want to change this, that you don't want it anymore 15 degrees. So let's say somebody gave me some other number. Look, all what I have to do is here to type in instead of the 15 degree, maybe I want it to be only 5 degrees. So I type 5, press enter, look what happened. I have immediately changed the model without going to a sketch. And model is very robust, what means it does not collapse as we change it. And I will go back to this one. And it is a easy to change and it's fully parametric. So. Okay, so well, this will, let's see, if we choose some material and we can put the material, for example, to be just a 1023 carbon sheet still, we can check to evaluate and we can check our mass properties and it is 0.17 pounds. So as today we are going to get more intricate pieces made out by revolution by object of real by features of revolve let's first complete this model and then we will move on our independent assignment of making the chess piece and this completes this video